right, welcome back to Prater, and today we're going to be going over a project that we're working on where we had our faba beans over there, and we basically took our faba beans and we ran them through our CLM 36, and running them through the CLM 36 is basically what you would want to call like a pre-break, pre-grind, and we're grinding it to a certain specification, and basically what we're trying to do there is grind it to a certain spec, and then we actually analyze that from the uh, essential uh, raw feed of the faba bean because there's a certain protein content that's inside the bean to begin with. And when we run it through our uh, ACM mill, we don't want to overgrind it because if we overgrind it, then we're taking away some of that protein. Once we get it processed through our CLM 36 and we meet the specification that we're looking for after we analyze it, we're then taking that product and we're running it through our Mac 1. The reason why we're running it through our air classifier is because we're going to cut it off and then we're going to separate the starch and the protein. And by separating the starch by the protein, basically the fines that come out is the, the protein is going to be enriched to a certain percentage. So on, when we process it through our air classifier, we have what's called the overs and that's where the actual starch is going to be coming out and then the protein will go over to our dust collector and dump out underneath there and that's where we get our split as far as from the starch and the protein. Um, based off of whatever is inside of the bean to begin with, we can actually separate it to where we can sometimes double the protein content. We actually get it analyzed so that we could see each step of the process from the raw bean to the CLM 36 and then actually to when we process it through our MAC. Now when we're using our air classifier, um, we have it running at a certain speed and then we're also utilizing our secondary ear and our secondary ear on our air classifier is it helps us if we need it to help suspend the material so that the actual rotor can do its job depending on the densities of the material and how fast we're feeding it and how much air we need to pull it through we determine how much secondary ear we need to utilize we use our air classifier for multiple different projects this is one of them where we're separating and getting the starch of the protein. We actually can dedust materials. We've done uh, projects where we remove silica out of it. So our air classifier is very universal in the sense that if there's something in there that you don't want, we can get it out of there and, and, and do it at an efficient rate and have a really clean cut.